Okay, so we find I have this thing stopped again. Stop there. Stop there. We have power. I have an extra fan running on this just in case that little fan that doesn't seem like it blows as much as I think it should. But um, when I go here, I can't click on anything. This is like the sixth time it's done this. And the other problem I have is if I unplug this in order to reset it or whatever because nothing works there. I'm using a cable I had to piece together because the cable that came with this okay it recognizes it I hit that then I try to reset it and then what it does is it ends up going to the opposite side once I reset it so now if I try to continue I hit pause and I hit start. It does not go to where it left off. So, that's pretty much garbage. Okay, so let's go take a look at the cable situation also that I've mentioned but never got any customer support help on because they were too stuck on whether it had been shipped or not because when they shipped it okay this is my cable I had to take an OTG cable because that's the only one that has one of these super long ends on it I don't know why it has to have a super long end on this thing because any regular cable won't fit so then I take Dig your cable out of the box. Okay, this is your cable. I'll zoom around here and plug it in on this end. Because if I try a regular cable, it's not long enough. Yeah, that's plugged in and it's a fairly short cable I'll forgive the video here it's not very gonna be very good so if I plug this cable in there's no communication no window sound no nothing okay so this is a charging cable this is not a data cable See, there's no window sound, it's not talking to the machine, it won't communicate at all. So you sent a cable that fits, and it's a USB with a 8mm length plug for the other end, so it will fit through this casing in order to go into the scanner. So that cable's junk that you sent with the thing. My cable is pieced together, so in a way it's kind of junk. Because the connection on it's not very good, but it's all that I had that was that long. Because it has to be a super long cable. No, I'm not, not cable, but this end on it. If you look here, this is longer than a regular USB cable. So if I plug this in, you can hear Windows Connect. And if I go up here, you have Windows Connect. And now it's communicating right. But I had to power this thing down twice in order to get it to reassess where the laser's at because the first time it's not going to work. You can't line up the work because now you're totally out of this. So now you got to throw that piece away and start over. So this is the KK Moon laser engraver.